The next person I'm going to invite to the stage how amazing the Americas region is. Please help me welcome to the stage our Chief Scientific Officer, Dr. Joe Chang. <laughs> Yes, God, amazing. I don't know why he thinks Utah is that bad. I think it's okay. <laughs> That's because he cycles around in his really tight shorts. That's why. <laughs> if he wears a little bit thicker clothing, he'll be okay. <laughs> but he's so proud of his new weight, you know, after TR90. Oh well, that's what happens when product works, so. Well, good afternoon, it's great to see all of you. It, it is good to be in California. And today I just want to bring some new points and to emphasize some issues about the science behind TR90. And then we have Dr. Angela Mastelutis coming up to also make sure that you understand the whole program. Because over the last few months, uh, obviously we have heard much feedback from all of you around the world, and there are certain points I think you might be missing on, on what we have with TR90. And uh, those points are important because how those points, that's what we use to put the program together and what our clinical studies have shown. But uh, before we go into that, let's talk a little bit about the science and how we sort of came about with TR90. Because that is also important for you to realize that with TR90, it is about man weight management rather than just talking about weight loss. So fundamentally, what we have done with HLOG and all the collaboration we have conducted together with the LifeGen scientists in Wisconsin is to make sure that we incorporate and infuse what we are trying to do with TR90, uh, the genetic approach, if you will, uh, into, into what we did two years ago when we started on this road to develop TR90. And, and we want to make sure that the science replaces the myth because there are lots of myths, particularly in this weight loss category, because many people and, and most of us are under the sort of impression that when you hear a lot of advertisements related to this category that you can lose 30 pounds in 30 days and so on and so forth. And they often missed the point that yes, you can lose that weight, but the question is what that loss is due to? Is it due to muscle or is it due to fat? And obviously what we've been trying to do with TR90 is to make sure that, that as little of the muscle is being lost while maintaining the weight loss all attributable to the loss of fat. So that's, that's really the myth. So when you talk about these traditional weight loss programs then, it's almost as if that, well, it's all about the number on the scale, right? Every morning, most of us, if not all of us, have in our bathroom this particular scale. And we get on it and we measure ourselves and we look at the number and say, well, I've either gained weight or we have lost weight. Well, that's not quite the correct way of looking at TR90 because if you do that, and that's obviously, I think we almost anticipated that when people do that, they will come back and say, I'm not losing weight. It's not about weight loss. TNI is about weight management. It is critical, especially when we talk about weight, is to manage the weight to a very sustainable level and a persistent level. It's not about episodic loss. I can actually give you a program that will give you episodic and a very quick loss of weight. But that's not sustainable because time and time again, and there are many scientific and clinical studies to prove, that that kind of weight loss invariably will all come back into your body over time because that's not sustainable. So our TR90 program is all about weight management and body shaping. It's to make sure that instead of looking at a number, it's to look at yourself in the mirror. Because visually, and I think I can prove it to you later on after this presentation, that when you look at the mirror, you will see the results of TR90 much more effectively than looking at a number on a scale. So that is not about this. This is the myth that we're trying to dispel. Here's an example. Two guys. 
identical height, identical weight, identical BMI. In fact, if you look at that BMI of 27.1, you will notice that the person on your right, or the, the, the person on the right on the slide, is a person that requires weight management or weight loss. But when you look at him, he looks really good, isn't he? I mean, he looks even better than Scott. I mean, <laughs> I mean, look at him. I mean, the guy is really buff. I mean, there's nothing wrong with him. That's what we're talking about, is to manage that shape, is to manage the visual appearance, because that shape and that appearance cannot happen if you don't preserve the muscle and maintain the muscle in your body. That's, that's really. So even the BMI, if you will, that we are all trained so well to recognize as a measurement of healthy weight is somewhat misleading because it's an equation that has been developed that did not take into account originally the amount of muscle that you have. Hence the reason why that individual and that guy has that 27.1, a BMI that is over and above what we would perceive to be a healthy BMI. Not good, but you look at him, he is good. So that's what we are trying to, to, to achieve and aspire to with TR90. Another reason why we want to preserve lean muscle is the fact that without lean muscle, the metabolic engine or the ability to burn the fat or to burn up the calories in your body is less efficient. The lean muscle or the muscle overall is the only metabolic engine that is available in the whole body for you to be able to burn calories. Nothing else does that as well as lean muscle. It's a very good reason why we want to preserve lean muscle and what we wish TR90 to achieve when you take this whole system. And again now, this is a reminder for myself to say, whenever we talk about TR90, it's a system. It is not about a single supplement. We have three supplements in the TR90 program, but it's not about a single supplement or one of the three or just taking the supplements alone. It is a combination. It is almost the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. That's how we had designed TR90 to work. And lean muscle, when we talk about caloric burn, you can see it, look at the data here. The amount of fat-free mass, the more you have, the higher your ability to burn. This is a scientific study that has been conducted to show that your basal or your resting metabolic rate is much higher in the presence of more muscle. Less muscle, the lower your basal metabolic rate. That's what we mean that you are, for all intents and purposes, if you will, if you preserve your muscle and maintain that muscle mass, you are able to burn more calories even while you're resting. Weight management, as far as the science is concerned, and this is where we got into a rather heated debate and active debate among all the scientists within ourselves and in LifeGen, is the fact that it's a very complex phenomenon. It is a very difficult um, sort of, it, it's due to a variety of scientific mechanisms that are acting and or misbehaving in your body. It's not about just one scientific mechanism that if you control or regulate that mechanism, you're gonna achieve weight loss or weight management. It's very complex. And it also involves not just the fat tissue, and I think I've already sort of alluded to the fact that muscle is an equally important tissue for us to focus on, but there's another third one which you may not recognize, and that's the brain and I'll bring that into play a little bit more. But that's because of those complex mechanisms operating almost simultaneously, we wanted to go further upstream, and that is to look at the genes or the expression of the genes that regulate these mechanisms because we have far fewer variables to, to be able to manage. And, and the notion of looking at genes, it's, it's quite well supported now. It's quite well validated, if you will, because when studies were conducted with identical twins, and here is a study looking at the amount of fat versus muscle in, 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 uh, in a pair of twins, and there are many twins, apparently pairs of twins they've looked at, but here's for illustration. There is a thin twin on the left and a fat twin on the right. 
Now, I've mapped or plotted out the genes because we now know how to map genes and to discover the identity of these genes on a chart to show which genes are being affected and which genes are not being affected by, uh, in a pre between these two uh, twins. The middle, the yellow, that, that sort of region in there, nothing was affected between the two genes. In other words, we did not find any differences among those genes, whether they're isolated from the thin twin or from the fat twin. It doesn't matter. There, there were no changes there. By contrast, though, there were several genes or several clusters of genes that were affected differently, albeit, but they were affected when they were studied between the two individuals. The set of genes on the left looks as if that when you look at the activity, not the structure of genes, but the activity, they were down-regulated. In other words, they were less active. By contrast, when you look at another set of genes, and they, were sh and they are shown on the right here, you can see those genes were upregulated. In, in other words, they were far more active in those uh, in, 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 the, uh, in the person in the blood and tissue taken from the fat twin. So clearly there are differences, and there are clearly there are differences in gene expression profile between these two persons. And that's why it gives us comfort and gives us confidence that when you look at gene expression, that they, are, they will in some way ultimately affect how you manage your weight. So fundamentally, when you distill all this knowledge that we have, not just from us alone, but from other studies and from other labs around the world, you can see that when these genes get out of sync, if you will, in terms of their gene expression, they are less able to help you to maintain your weight and your body shape. That's really what we are trying to achieve, is to make sure that bring those genes back to some sort of normal gene expression profile. And skeletal muscle here, this is a mitochondria, this is pretty good, because I think this allows you, when you go to your parties and cocktail parties here in LA or whatever, and uh, talk about, have you heard about mitochondria efficiency? I think invariably that tends to make people think, that is one smart dude. So, but, you know, I think Angela can tell you more because even I don't know what a mitochondria is. But anyway, this is just to show you at the level of the science, uh, basic research, we also know that mitochondria efficiency, specifically in skeletal muscle, if that efficiency is being preserved and maintained, you have a much, much better ability to burn your calories as, as I've already alluded to. There is a basic mechanism that leads to that kind of action in skeletal muscle. Here's the third organ, it's your brain. This is what will either help you or either encourage you to eat more or to eat less. This is the part of the tissue that you cannot ignore. It controls a lot of things. Eating is a very pleasurable sensation for all of us. And if we don't control that pleasurable sensation, it, you tend to overeat. And this is what happened and once again. Even in this tissue, we can relate appetite control and the ability to sort of uh, maintain, uh, not to feel as hungry and to feel fuller, is to look at gene expression profile. And once again, we have done that. So here is an example from a study, okay? And these are what we call gene expression profiles. These are what scientists would call heat maps. It shows you the activity of a variety of genes taken on a single panel via the measurement through a gene chip. So that's the lean control on the left. That's the desirable gene expression profile. The high fat control on the other hand on the right shows you an exactly opposite gene expression profile. It re it's sort of so dramatically different. What we got from a lean control. And what we've done, or what this, in this particular study has shown, is that when you take that gene expression profile and then now look under the microscope, the size of the fat cells, they're far bigger, they're much larger. They are huge, they're humongous fat cells, okay? 
By contrast, when this had high fat control, when they were given an ingredient that we have used in TR90, what we have been able to see is that the gene expression profile is beginning to revert back to resemble that of the lean control. And at the same time, when we look at the fat cells, those fat cells look much, much smaller. They become thin fat cells. So for all intents and purposes, we're starting to see a correlation in terms of the gene expression profile that is reverting back to a lean control profile and at the same time observing some of these fat cells getting much smaller, losing their fat, if you will. So this, this, all this knowledge, this database, this technology that we call and encapsulate under the umbrella that we call HLOC, we obviously have been working together with the live giant scientists for several years before we launch. And um, once again, here's an animal study, a preclinical study that we have conducted together with the live giant scientists. So once again, that's a lean control. That's a gene expression profile from those sets of animals. And the high fat control in the middle shows dramatic changes similar to I have shown you before. And then when we took those animals and fed them with an ingredient that is found in TR90 that we eventually incorporated into the TR90 supplements, we can see that heat map looks rather similar to the lean control. So once again, the LiveGen collaboration allows us to do the science, the so-called H-Log science with these scientists to be able to give us further insights and very profound knowledge into how we should develop TR90. And that's what we have. And importantly enough, the reason why we highlighted this particular gene expression profile is because this gene expression profile is the one that we obtain from fat tissue. Okay? And the genes that we have found in, within this, uh, this, this set of genes that we looked at, those were the genes that are directly responsible for burning fat, for transporting fat out of the fat cells, and also to prevent further storage of the fat inside the cell. All relevant changes that we wish to see in a TR90 ingredient. And now we move on to a human clinical study. This is, or this, yeah, this is the open label study we conducted. And this time, uh, we took blood from these individuals to look for genes. You can do that too. And um, we took the blood and looked at what types of genes have changed in the presence before and after TR90. And what we found that the lean control group has the gene expression profile related to appetite and hunger control. And then after the TR90, taken after 90 days, we are beginning to see that the TR90 after 90 days once again has managed to revert the gene expression profile back to what looks very similar that you will find from a lean control group. So the open clinical study, if you will, corroborate and support what we have found before with the live gen scientists. Pretty consistent data overall. So, I've given you a lot of the science behind it, and Angela will come out to you and talk specifically in terms of how to use the TR90 system together with the excellent eating plan that we have put in place. That is a very important and equally uh, valuable component of the whole system. As I mentioned, it's not about a magic bullet. There are no magic bullets in this particular category. If I'm standing here and be able to tell you, and I have obviously gotten questions along these lines, that there is one supplement that you take, and you sit there, and the fat just melts away. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Or else if I have that, you know, I mean, there won't be any liposuction surgeons left in Los Angeles area. So. Clearly, there are no magic bullets because it's such a complex system, as I, mentioned, as I showed you, that controls the overall weight in your body. So we have to make sure that all those systems are in gear or in sync. And TI-90 does that in a systemic way together with the eating plan. So that, that's important to remember. So it's not about stepping on the scale then. It's about looking at yourself, and I think, I can prove that point to you when we talk to the three individuals 
I have uh, that I can bring uh, on stage now. So there are three people that have gone through the TNI system, and I just want to have them on stage to meet all of you and have them share their experience in terms of using TNI. So let's welcome Don Lovelace, Natalia Juarez, Connie and Ronnie B. Okay, so that's Don, that's Natalia, and that's, those are the beams, okay? So we'll, we'll address the first question to Don. You've, his picture is on the, on, on the uh, slide on the screen here, so you can see clearly there is a dramatic change in Don over the last, well, I don't know, how many, how many weeks now, Don? Um, I've done the program twice now. There you go. Don has done the program twice. So my question to Don is really... I think you've lost, what, 50 pounds, Don, yeah, 50. on the TRA program? So how do you do that? Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, well, obviously, following the eating plan is such an important part of the program. But I think a part of it that's often overlooked is the importance of exercise along with TR90. So my transformation number is actually all about that. My transformation number is two. And, and that's my number for a couple different reasons. Uh, first of all, when I started the program, I knew I had to make changes to my exercising, and so the first day I was committed to go out and run a mile just to kick off my participation with TR90. Um, I made it just two laps around the track before I was walking. I mean, I was exhausted and had to walk the rest of that mile. Uh, that experience was really a wake-up call for me. I knew if I was going to transform my life, I had to set big goals and, and take action, and so... I set the goal to run a half marathon after doing TR90. Um, I think a key to my success was viewing the 30 minutes three times a week that's recommended as a starting point and not as the end goal. And so as I got into better shape, the intensity, the frequency of my exercising increased as well. And uh, well, I went to work. So after six months, I actually completed my first half marathon. Um, this is a, <laughs> thank you. Uh, shortly after, I did another one. This is actually a picture of a Tough Mudder run that I did here well, in San Diego, California. If uh, you're not familiar with Tough Mudder, it, it's a pretty unique experience. It's 12 plus miles. You're climbing over walls, running through mud, running uphill. Um, and as you can see from this picture, it did a number on me and on our shirts. Uh, and as you can see on my face, it was a delightful experience. I was so thrilled <laughs> as I did it. Um, but really, as I completed that race, it was such a defining moment for me because I realized how far that I had come through TR90. Um, so that's why my transformation number is two, because overtaking the product and following the plan, I went from being able to run two laps around a track to doing two half marathons. I've got two more events scheduled for 2014. And uh, really, thank you so much. I, I'm just so excited for the transformation I've seen in that that I'm seeing in the lives of others as well. That's great, Don. Yep. So. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Is that really you, Don, on the right? You look like a, <laughs> it is. You look like somebody came out from the mountains of Utah. <laughs> you don't look very happy, but I don't look too thrilled. But yeah, 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 yeah. But it was a good, great good experience, experience, was it? Great experience. Yeah. Okay, I'll take your word for it. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, let's turn our attention to Natalia, and believe it or not, Natalia is from Canada, eh? So, yep, yep. So, and she has a wonderful, I mean, she looks good, doesn't she? Yeah. So, so tell us your story, Natalia. Uh, well, hello, everyone. Um, uh, well, just before TR90 was launched, um, I got some gentle coaching from my upline, Scotty Kearns, about participating in the program. And I was incredibly skeptical, and I thought, why would I do it? I don't need to lose weight. And even with all the education around TR90, my mind was still really focused on, on the weight piece. And so I, but I decided to start so that I could participate and then eventually just coach other people through the program. And during the first, um, well at the start, I actually went and got a DEXA scan. So that was a body composition scan. And, and it turned out that I was 25.8% um, 25, 25 body fat. And I wasn't sure what that meant. 
Um, and then the, the physician told me, she said, she's like, I can tell you that's actually quite, quite high for, um, for your body. You just wear it well. She's like, you're skinny fat. <laughs> and and I, I laughed, but there was something about it that felt, um, felt like that, that, that fit. And this idea of weight management, um, I had just developed ways of, of managing the weight that was around my middle, whether it was wearing flattering things or, or just having great posture to suck it in. Um, and yeah, so then I started and for the first six weeks, I was pretty skeptical. I, um, I'm a certified yoga teacher, my background's in education. Um, and I thought I was fit. And I joined the gym and started doing strength training in addition to the program. Uh, twice a week, and what I noticed was that, well, there, was a, there didn't seem to be much changes in terms of my weight or my measurements, um, but I did start feeling that I was getting stronger, and, um, and then halfway through the program, I decided, halfway through, I decided that, uh, that I should take a picture. So uh, reluctantly, I, I took a picture, and that day, I had actually gained a pound, and uh, found that... Um, like when I took the pictures and I saw that, I understood what she had meant by being skinny fat. And I understood what TR90 was all about, about body composition. So from then on, um, I was really committed to the program the last, the last six weeks and uh, just recently got a DEXA scan and um, have replaced five pounds of fat with, with lean muscle. Yeah. My body. And my weight hasn't changed. Yep. Thanks, Natalia. I think Natalia emphasized that point, right? If she had looked at a scale, even before starting TR90, she would not have been as motivated to get on the program. But by looking at herself in the mirror, it reinforces that you can get a better shape out of the TR90 system. It really helps to motivate and, and gives her the, uh, the reason that the TR90 is working. So that's a good thing. Notice in the photograph in the middle, she has a scanner there. I think that's an old scanner, so we have the new one. <laughs> However, what it does also bring out to the surface is the fact that as you lose the weight, that using the scanner to monitor the antioxidant level in your body is a good thing. And uh, obviously, we have the product uh, related to the scanner, which is LifePack, that you can use in conjunction that complements the, uh, the TR90 system very well. So, so here we have a couple. Um, I, I just have a question not related to TR90. When you first met, did you know that he was called Ronnie? Yeah? Did. You did? That's why, is that the reason why you married him? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, Ronnie and Connie. Yeah, so it's, it's great. Yeah. So, so here are the beams. And once again, I think the reason why we have them here is to have perhaps describe to you how partners can work together in such a way that doing this program can be fun and can be highly effective if you have a teamwork, please. All right, so we're, the question basically is about accountability to one another and to the system. And um, let's see, in a couple of months, we will have been accountable to each other for 44 years. <laughs> so we know a little bit about ac accountability. And um, when TR90, came out. I knew Connie wanted to get on it, and um, I wasn't quite sure about myself whether I was going to do it or not, and then I decided, yep, I want to get a story, and so that's what um, um, we're going to go on the TR90, and I said, but to do it, we're going to have to be accountable to each other, and we're going to have to be committed to the system, and we're going to follow that for 90 days no matter what. And um, so that's what we did, and I think it was that commitment and accountability that um, allowed us to, to have the success that we've had. Um, to be accountable um, has to do with being encouraged, an encouragement. You know, you're measuring yourself, and all of a sudden you gained a pound instead of losing five. You know, in those times, it's nice to have somebody there to be able to encourage you and to stir you on. And so that's what we were doing. We didn't always have the best results, but uh, we stuck with it because um, we each just shared in it. Um, we were also there to constantly, we were talking to each other during the day, making sure that, hey, have you had your lunch yet, and what did you eat? Um, 
You're eating so much that it really, it's, sometimes you feel like you don't want to eat because that snack comes and oh, I'm, still, I'm still full from lunch. But it's important to have that snack, so we kept ourselves accountable there. And I think the last thing, um, for me anyhow, was um, I wanted to have it to be fun. I just didn't want it to be a drudgery of just doing a program and doing that. So uh, we enjoyed uh, a lot of new um, dishes that we'd never had before and this and that and everything else. Um, one of the things is Connie really started seeing results and everything else and getting ready to go to work. Um, I'd always make a point when she'd um, get ready to leave, I'd look at her and I'd say, wow, you know what, you're really hot. And, oh. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it would always bring a smile on her face, yeah. and isn't that what it's all about? And so we've really, we've enjoyed this uh, program very well. That's great. Thanks, Ryan. Connie, you want to add anything? Sort of. Well, I think that he probably said it all as far as that accountability. Um, you know, getting up the app, the app is really a key thing, something that we enjoyed. And that was also that accountability, mm -hmm. getting up, getting those measurements, putting those things in each day and looking forward to that. So that accountability to other people, to the system, to each yeah. other, being true to that is, is really key. Wow. How about the food? You got to give the wife the last word. So, it's, yeah. I was trying to help her out a little bit. Just, yeah, yeah, just, just a tip. Yeah, usually that happens in my family. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Give it her accountable. I know. So, well, thank you. I think you've shared your experiences and your knowledge how TR9 is. Please give them a hand. So you got a personal experience, you heard about the signs, the umbrella, the signs, uh, the umbrella of signs behind TR90.